this episode, we'll be looking at caterpillar food plants, if you're intending to breed your butterflies. One very important thing to consider is that the caterpillars will eat a lot, and you're not going to have enough leaf material to rear hundreds of caterpillars unless you live near some of these plants or happen to have them growing in your garden already. So if you are successful at getting your butterflies to lay eggs, then it's best to remove most of these from the plant. And then you can rear a small number of caterpillars all the way through to pupae. Rather than allow hundreds of caterpillars to hatch and have them starve to death as you quickly run out of food plant. Each butterfly has its own specific food plants. So if you want to breed a particular species, then you're going to need to research which plant your chosen butterfly will lay its eggs on. For this flight area, we are going to grow a small selection of plants that will allow us to try breeding between 10 and 15 different species. These plants are Banana, this one was £5.99 from Dobby's, and it is used by the owl butterflies. Or as an alternative, you could choose to grow Canna, Bird of Paradise, Heliconia or Ginger. The owl butterflies will feed and lay on all of these plants, but be warned as they do eat a lot of leaf. This plant is probably only enough for one or two larvae at most. Next up we have Choisia. Now this is used by a lot of the Papilio swallowtails. Again you could substitute this for citrus plants, skimia or rue, depending on the species you're going to fly, but this will happily grow outside in your garden. Next we have Cestrum, which is used by the glasswing butterfly plants can easily be found online for around 8 to 10 pounds. Now we have the passion flower Passiflora cerulea. This is a really useful plant and it's used by a lot of the Heliconius and Cethosia butterflies. All of the following species will feed on it, including Dryas julia, Heliconius melpomene, Heliconius cheritonius and Cethosia cyan. Then we are going to grow a couple of plants from seeds. Firstly, we are going to grow peanuts, which are used by the blue morpho butterfly, which is known as morpho helena, or morpho pallides. And then we'll be growing some hypermia, also known as morning glory, which is used as the food plant for hypoluminous bellina, or the great egg fly. This species will also feed on nettle and bindweed, as well as many other plants. So when it comes to planting these seeds, it's very simple. You just need a pot of multipurpose compost, and then you simply plant around five peanuts per pot. And you need to bear in mind that with more four species, you will need at least one peanut plant per larvae, possibly more, because they do eat quite a lot. And for the Ipomea, you can simply sprinkle a few seeds on the surface of the pot and gently push them into the compost. Water them lightly and we can put those to one side and allow them to grow. So that's all the planting complete. Let's have a look at how the flight area looks. Now let's see how much we spent this episode. You can find links in the description to the seeds and plants. This brings the total spend for the setup to £175. Now we have to be patient and wait for the plants to grow. And while we wait, it gives us time to pick and research our butterflies. And that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. So I'll see you then.